What is my least favorite product that I've ever bought off Amazon? Other than the fleece line leggings I bought last year that were for certain, not one size fits all. Let me show you. This is an electric pill grinder. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Hillary and my daughter is medically complex. She is currently on a keto diet for management of her seizures. So all of her medications recently got switched from a liquid form to a pill form. Liquid medications have a lot of sugar in them, which she can't have, so we switched to pills. So I bought this thing thinking that it would make our life easier because we have to crush and dissolve all of her pills so that we can put them in a syringe and feed them through her G-tube, but no. So first thing that I really don't like is that this cord is pretty short and it has to be plugged in in order for this to operate. We keep all of Marceline's medications actually in the closet in her bedroom. We turned her whole bedroom closet into like a medical supply closet. And I don't have an outlet to easily access with this, <laughs> so it just kind of defeated the whole purpose of having everything in one place. Also, this is much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Now that's on me, I did not read the details. I did not read the product details as thoroughly as I should have. So this is just way more than what we actually need for her. We really only have one medication where the pill is fairly large. Most of them can be crushed very easily inside of a syringe. The thing that I really just am not a fan of with this product is the fact that I just feel like I'm losing a lot of medication and there's a lot of effort required to prevent that from happening. So you like crush it up, you press it down, the little blade spins around and crushes it up. All of it will sit in the bottom and then I have to pour it out into like these little medication cups and in order to do that, I need to use this brush. Like it works, but you really have to work to make sure that you scrape out all of that powder so you're getting all of that medication. For us, this just isn't worth it, but I'm gonna show you what we do instead. Okay, so here is the largest pill that we have. It's Keppra and it's about that large. Now this is one of my favorite Amazon purchases that we made. It's a safety shield pill cutter. You can adjust where the pill sits. So if it's a little bit bigger, you just slide it down and adjust it, but you want it flush at the top. I'm going to just bring the blade. I don't know if you can see that, but the blade sits right here in the middle. I'm gonna do a quick clean cut and it slices the pill right in half. I could go ahead and cut this again into fourths. And I do sometimes, but I don't really have to for this to work. So I'm just gonna put these pieces right in there. Put the plunger at the top. Now, sometimes I will go ahead and see if I can crush this just a little bit more. There, and it crushed it just a little bit more inside the tube. I'm going to draw up a few milliliters of water, and then I'm gonna push the air out. Push the air out just like that, so there's no air inside. Hold it tight, and then I'm gonna pull back on the plunger and pop it up. Now, it does, when it pops back up, it does kind of snap your finger a little bit. It doesn't hurt that bad, but it's a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna pop it a few more times. Now, I'm gonna draw up the rest of my water. I go to about 10 milliliters. I'm gonna let that sit. This has been sitting for about a minute. I just had to run in and grab one of these cups so that I could show you how dissolved this is after one or two minutes of just sitting in here with that method. I'm gonna shake it up just in case there's any residual like powder and stuff in there. If this were real and I was going to give this to her, I would just go ahead and give this to her through her G-tube, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like in here so that you can see how effective this is. So I'm gonna push it. Look, absolutely no pill or powder left in there. It's all dissolved. Now, like I said, this is the biggest pill that we have. So most of the pills that we use, I don't even have to go through all that trouble. I can just slide it in there, squish it with the plunger and it crushes just fine. The, none of this is medical advice, but if you're like us and you don't have a lot of really large pills to crush, I really just don't think that these are worth it, to be honest. So if you try that, let me know what you think.